what's up beauties welcome back to my channel if you don't know me I'm Tia Simone and it's been forever it's been like three months since I've actually filmed a video I'm so excited I hope y'all are having an amazing summer even though summer's almost over and we're just gonna do a get ready with me and I did a Sephora haul a couple days ago so I'm gonna share some of the new things that I purchased and we're just gonna chat about the new plans for my channel so let's get started <clears throat> Okay, so some of the products I'm not going to be talking about. I'm just mostly going to be talking about the newer products. And obviously, I do my eyes first because if I, do, if I don't do my eyes first, it's a big, big mess. Um, but this is the Empowered Palette by Huda Beauty. Look at how beautiful this palette is. Like, literally, just the packaging. I love the aesthetic of Huda, Huda Beauty's eyeshadow palettes. And... Also, Huda Beauty is rebranding. Um, she's changing everything in her line and I'm so excited to see what it's gonna be like because I feel like Huda Beauty, as far as when it comes to the makeup industry as a whole, is the most innovative. One of the most innovative, in my opinion. Um, but let's open it up. This is what it looks like. It is a warm tone palette. Beautiful shades, like I'm obsessed. Whoop, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with the shade Power. I love the names on here. Like I just, I love everything about this palette. I'm going to say that I know that neutrals are in right now and that's great, <clears throat> but I am not a neutral gal. I don't like neutrals that much. I mean, I love my Patrick... Patrick Ta Major Dimensions All Matte Palette. Like, that's one of my favorite palettes. I use that palette, like, almost every day. But I'm a warm tone gal. Mm, this shade isn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Let me build it up. So how have you guys been doing? I hope everything's going well with all of you. I hope your summer has been amazing, even though it's almost over. Um, my summer has been pretty good it's been just mostly just relaxing that's what I've been doing all summer just relaxing and enjoying spending time with my boys and all that kind of stuff and we're going on our uh, first vacation for the summer next weekend which is going to be so fun so okay that color is a little bit not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be so I'm going to go in with keep going right here so I'm going to go in with that shade right there but anyway, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Um, for those of you who really do, you, you're not aware because you're probably not on TikTok, I do go live on TikTok. I do live debates and I absolutely enjoy doing it. It's where I do like a lot of my advocacy, but I do obviously I advocate for the 2S LGBTQIA plus community as a whole outside of social media but I feel like social media is the perfect way um, to advocate especially right now um, with this year's election and us possibly having our first woman president who is black is absolutely I'm so excited I have doing have been doing a lot of political debates and I will be uploading my live debates that I do on TikTok, I will be uploading every week. I did upload one, but then I kind of forgot to continue to, but I'm gonna start making sure that I upload. It's super easy to upload, I just forgot. So I'm gonna be uploading pretty much um, at least a couple times a week. I go live every other day on TikTok, so if you don't have TikTok, and you do want to see me live, I do go live on TikTok a lot. <clears throat> and I love it. This is actually a really pretty shade. I like this shade right here. I think the reason why I genuinely enjoy TikTok so much is because I love the opportunities that TikTok gives smaller micro influencers, smaller creators as a whole. Like everyone gets the same opportunities for success on TikTok. I like TikTok's algorithm a lot better than YouTube. Um, I just like TikTok 
more. And I think it's because I'm having a very enjoyable experience on TikTok. I'm having a very enjoyable experience on TikTok. Besides the fact that I'm advocating um, for a good cause for my community, the BIPOC community, black people as a whole, um, like I said, the 2SLGBTQIA plus community. Um, and it's very, very important that you vote, regardless of who you're voting for. Obviously, I would rather you vote for someone who is not against human rights. Um, but this is a very important election for marginalized communities. So I feel like that's why I've been going so hard on TikTok. And I've just created a very positive circle surrounded around me and y'all know I keep my circle small and I've created just like such amazing people I've created such a great community as a whole and I love and miss my community on YouTube but there's some things I've learned and because I've learned them through my journey on TikTok I am implementing the things that I've learned and bringing it back to YouTube. I needed to take a break on YouTube, obviously. I'm gonna go on with this next shade that is called Legacy. Gosh, I love these names. Um, I, whoa, that's pigmented as shit. Holy crap. I um, needed to take a break on TikTok because as most of you know, and I've definitely said many of times, that I definitely um, was surrounded around the wrong type of people. I was surrounded around nothing but negativity. And I'm not talking about the positive people that were around me, but y'all know, like, I didn't like the direction that my channel was going in. Every other day, it felt like I was defending myself and debunking somebody on a lie that they told about me. I definitely did not use my discernment very well um, on YouTube. And I had to work on that. And in order for me to work on it, I had to take a step back from going live. And in my head, of course, I'm like, I'm never going live again on YouTube. That's what I'm thinking. But if I can create a positive experience and be surrounded around nothing but positivity um, on TikTok, then I can do the same on YouTube. It's just working on my discernment has been a journey and one of the things that I know about myself, and if you know me, which a lot of y'all do, I am very quick to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm always ignoring that inner voice. I'm always ignoring my gut, that voice telling me, that little voice that tells you, this is a toxic person, stay the fuck away from these people. I always ignore that. And the benefit of the doubt, just think of that word, those words in itself, the benefit of the doubt. When you're giving people the benefit of the doubt, Technically, you're ignoring your gut. So I ignored my gut because I'm like, oh, you know, you think to yourself, you could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? It does not. Sometimes you can be paranoid. You know what I'm saying? When I am going to tell you 99.999% of the time that your gut is telling you this is a horrible person, your gut is not lying to you. Okay, you have to listen. So I had to learn to listen to that gut feeling and not ignore it. How many times do you say to yourself, let's just say you play the number and you have a number in your head. I can't tell you how many times my boyfriend has said, I have a number in my head and I wish I would have played it and that number ends up coming out. You have to be able to stop ignoring that inner voice. And because I stopped ignoring it and now if I have a gut feeling about someone, I stay the way I just stay the fuck away from them period like I don't care anymore there's no excuses there's no giving the benefit of the benefit of the doubt I don't care if I have a bad feeling about you and my voice that inner gut my that voice telling me that you are a horrible person and that you're toxic I'm staying away from you and let me tell you no matter what when you listen to that gut feeling and you don't ignore it and you don't question it I promise you it will always be revealed to you why it was so important that you listen to that gut feeling and it's very serious to me y'all because at the end of the day I definitely surrounded around I 
was surrounded around so many toxic people on YouTube. So I'm gonna go in with this more, there's a lot of more cool tone shades on this side. So I'm gonna go in with this cooler tone brown that's called Winner right here. And I am going to create some depth. Let's see how pigmented it is. And you get two cream shadows in here, which is awesome. And then there's a shimmer in here that's very, very unique where it's, it's like a cream it's called manifest it it's like a cream i don't even know how to explain it oh my gosh it's so pretty it's like a cream but it's mixed in with a shimmer and that's probably going to be the one that i'm going to use too everyone says that you have to have a niche that's not me it's never going to be me that's why i made my channel on youtube commentary and makeup because commentary kind of entails talking about everything it's about giving your opinion on everything and one day I might want to talk about politics the next day I want to talk about the drama that's going on with celebrities or maybe in the YouTube world or one day I might want to talk about anything like I don't know that's what that's why I'm added commentary to my channel because there's just more to me than doing makeup and even though I really genuinely enjoy doing makeup one of my favorite videos to do is first impressions. I love doing first impressions, but first impressions can get expensive because at the end of the day, I am a micro influencer. So therefore, guess what? I have to go out and buy things. I have to go out and buy new launches. And obviously <laughs> I can't do that all the time because guess what? That's going to burn my pockets. So, or it's going to burn my boyfriend's pockets. So, um, yeah, I definitely miss going live and I'm still obviously that's a given. I'm always going to do my videos, but I miss going live. So be on the lookout within the next couple weeks. Um, my first live back. I don't know exactly what day it's going to be, but be on the lookout when I schedule a live and you get notified if you're subscribed to me. And if you're not subscribed to me, make sure that you do, especially if you're new here. And if you are new here, hello. <laughs> We do commentary and makeup on this channel and we usually have a lot of fun. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go into this manifest and I'm gonna use my finger. This is so unique and different. Like it's a cream shimmer. Oh wow, look at that. That is so pretty. Hello, look how pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do some eyeliner real quick i also picked up this this um mascara that i haven't used in a while gosh it's been so long since i've used this mascara this and i wanted to try it again this is the uh, milk makeup kush mascara if you guys remember this mascara i heard like i haven't i remember trying this a long time ago so i'm gonna try it again let's see Remember when this mascara went viral? Like everyone loved this mascara and actually it's a pretty good mascara because I have some gaps in my lashes from wearing falsies and it's getting my lashes pretty up there. Huh. That's actually not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some eyeliner this is the ColourPop BFF liner and I love this liner this is probably one of the best liners on the market besides the NYX liner like this is look how black this is like where'd those lashes go so I ordered these and I also ordered some contacts too I forgot to put my contacts in but just to change the color of my eyes because I like to be different but I was watching the TikTok shop and love watching the TikTok shop and I always find like newer um, creators and that's why it is so important like if I can say one thing that I'm against like Kamala Biden you know um, 
the whole thing with the TikTok ban, I pray that TikTok doesn't get banned. They are going to fight it because at the end of the day, it has done so much for small, smaller businesses. And I love to support smaller businesses. And this is um, a Latina owned brand. Um, her name is Fabulash by Cindy. And she has the most beautiful contacts. If you have deep brown eyes like I do and you ever want to change your eye color, I will link um her site down below she is absolutely amazing and look at these lashes like so beautiful but look at the packaging like look at the little diamond oops wrong way i'm looking at my viewfinder y'all look at the little diamond like i love this packaging it is so cute and then it comes with a little brush as well so i'm gonna go pop these on um, but I definitely recommend I might put my contacts on towards the end and show y'all how much it changes my eye color Even though I love my eye color. I love brown eyes. I think brown eyes are the most beautiful, but it's okay to change it up because You just I'm a Gemini. I get tired of looking at myself looking the same every day Same eyes, same hair. You got to change something. So I will be right back and we will move on to the complexion Okay Lashes are on, so I'm going to move straight into the face. This is the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer, and I am just going to use this because I have very, very dry skin. I'm sure most of y'all know that. I'm just going to rub it into my skin. Ooh, I like the way this feels, this too. It's very hydrating. I've had this for so long, I can't remember if I've used it or not, but feels good <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna let this sit for a minute always remember to let your primer sit for a little bit prior to just going straight into foundation i just dropped the top so i did get a new foundation um this i picked this up because i heard such great things about it this is the huda beauty uh what is this called the huda beauty faux filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick and i love foundation sticks and in case y'all don't know foundation sticks are going to give you way more coverage than an actual liquid. So I'm talking about any cream versus liquid, you're always gonna get more coverage with cream. And one of my favorite foundations, if I can find it, <clears throat> I can't remember if I reviewed this or not, but this is one of my favorite foundation sticks. And this is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. And I freaking love this. However, um, I heard I don't know if it's true, but I heard this is better. I love the packaging on this, too. It's so sleek. But anyway, I heard this is better. I think this is going to be a little bit too light for me, but we will make it work. Um, but I love foundation sticks. I love the convenience of them. So let's try it out. Yeah, that's a little light, but it's okay. We'll make it work. I'm going to use my Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush. I'm just going to blend this in very curious as to like how this is supposed to be better but we'll see I would definitely say medium coverage with this. This is definitely not full coverage, but you can definitely build it up because it's so smoothing and skin-like. You can build this up and it wouldn't get like cakey or anything, which is great, so. Okay, I do, I like this a lot. This is the Makeup by Mario Super Sculpt Shaper Stick. And if you've never tried this, you have to. It is absolutely beautiful, super blendable. Love the packaging. Makeup by Mario is just one of my favorites, as far, especially when it comes to skin stuff. Like he's just that good. Um, they only have this in deep. Normally, I would get medium deep, but it's it's all good. And I'm going to just blend this. Oh, I have blush on that. Damn it. 
I'm going to use this Flower Beauty. See, bronzer will always make stuff work. Like, if you get, like, a foundation that's a little bit too light for you, when you go in with your bronzer and stuff, it evens out. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to go into is blush and concealer. And this is by Nude Stick. Look at how cute the packaging is. So I'm going to use this. And then it comes, like, with this, a mirror like that. And then this is what what shade is this in this is in the shade where is the shade oh poppy girl so it's more of like um one of my favorite type of blushes is um oh that's pretty it's like a oh that's pretty that is super pigmented what the hell okay I didn't know it was going to be that pigmented. So let me go ahead and blend this out first. I'm going to blend this. Whoa, that's really pretty. Ooh, and I like the way this blends. I need to try some more stuff from Nude Sticks because I heard that they are a pretty good brand. And this is so pretty. It's like a pinkish orange. Oh, I love it. I'm going to use one of my favorites, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You can never go wrong with this concealer. It's amazing. And I am just going to... This is my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. And it's just going to make it so much easier to blend and... If you don't do this, definitely, between any type of cream product that you use, get some setting spray. It's it's literally going to change your makeup game, I promise you. So I'm going to let this sit for probably like three minutes, and then I'll go ahead and blend it out. I don't want to say three minutes. That's too long. A minute at least. A minute or two. You need to let it sit um, because it's going to be so much easier to blend. Just try letting your concealer sit if you never have. It is a game changer. So I'm going to let this sit really quick and then I'll be right back and we'll finish up the rest of the face and continue talking. Okay, so now we're going to get to blending. Like literally, it just blends out so much easier, so much smoother, and it definitely gives you a little bit more coverage. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, this is by Morphe, and I'm just going to blend all of this together. And a Beauty Blender is going to do that so much better as far as just meshing all of these products together, like the concealer and the bronzer and the blush I did pick up my two favorite setting powders um, which are not new I really just was surprised that they had them there so I had to grab them this is the one size setting powder in ultra pink and then obviously probably one of the best setting powders ever which is the Huda Beauty loose baking powder in the shade cherry blossom and what I'm gonna tell you why is that not showing up? And what I'm going to tell you is pretty much these are the two best setting powders on the market right now. Now, my favorite is still the Laura Mercier. I love my Laura Mercier, and I will always keep that. But I will honestly say that these setting powders have been replacing my Laura Mercier. I just wish Laura Mercier, and I don't know if she has. I remember she did come out with a pink setting powder, like, for, like, um the holidays but I would really like her to come out with the pink setting powder and then these two would probably be gone who knows but this gives you such a smooth filter like it literally makes your face look like a filter like I'm not even joking okay so that's what we're gonna move on to is setting the face but anyway we're supposed to be talking as well so let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see me going live doing. I'm going to brighten up a little bit here. What you would like to see me doing live as far as when it comes to true crime or uh, celebrity gossip or gossip that's going on on YouTube. Like I know y'all always liked me covering those type of things. I definitely love me some um, 
true crime. Y'all know I love me some true crime. But my opinion has just changed so much about true crime. And I think it's just because, I don't know, like, I don't know. I feel like that's something that we, we need to talk about. I'm going to add a little bit more blush. Sometimes it gets a little bit lost. So you got to add it back. I just personally just would like to talk to y'all about that and just how much my opinion changed. I think there's just something about relying on true crime um, for others' entertainment. I don't know. If you don't want to invest in the big size of this, invest in the small ones. I've had these for almost pretty much six months and they still have so much product in it this is the small one size and obviously the smaller huda beauty so if you don't want to invest in the bigger ones invest in the small so i am going to set and watch the magic i'm just very very excited to get back to youtube let's just put it that way to go live on YouTube because I have missed it so much. I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced um, Soleil Chocolate Bronzer and it smells like chocolate, so good. I'm gonna go in with this and then I'm just going to set bronzer, the cream bronzer, so I'm gonna set it's not easy to be able to, to look at yourself and say, this is why you didn't have a positive experience because you did something wrong. Like, I blame nobody but myself when it comes to the people that I got involved with and me giving people the benefit of the doubt. Like, there's nobody to blame but myself, right? But at the end of the day, it's because I didn't listen to my gut, even though that voice was saying, this is, these people are pieces of shit, <laughs> I still didn't listen. So you guys tell me, do you listen to your inner gut when it's telling you something? Do you listen to it? Do you not listen to it? Do you pay attention to your discernment? not pay attention to do you use your discernment do you work on making your discernment better all that kind of stuff okay so i'm going to go in with this shade right here for my bottom lash line which is called keep going and i'm just going to smoke that down such pretty colors in here like I am very much this is gonna be my everyday palette y'all like I already know it I love these warm tones like and I love how it's mixed with neutral I love how it comes with the cream shadow which makes it very convenient and I'm actually gonna go into this brown right here that's called worthy and I am going to put that very, very close to my lash line. Right here. So let's try this milk makeup on the bottom lashes and see. Oh yeah, this is nice. Like I have long bottom lashes anyway, but I love a good long bottom lash line because that's just my preference and it's nice. I like it. It's definitely getting them pretty long. Longer than they already are. Okay, so I'm going to let this powder sit for a couple minutes and then I'll be back and we'll finish up the rest and that'll be it. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just wiped all my powder off and I literally just 
put some blush on and highlighter but I do want to tell you all about this highlighter that I got so if you have like a lighter complexion of skin like more of a paler skin tone you will love this this is probably this is blinding like I love this highlighter and I did not care how light it was I used to just try to avoid this because it's so light I don't care I like a bright inner corner so I used it for my inner corner and my nose and like it's in this is the highlighter by benefit in the shade cookie and let me swatch it <clears throat> it is so intense so intense this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's in the shade cool brown and I like these they are super pigmented they last forever and I also got it in another shade too which is in the shade malt they have super lasting power like this is by Maybelline and this is the lifter gloss and I think it's in the shade amber that's what it is it's in the shade amber and it's pretty much like a Fenty gloss bomb very pigmented look at that super glossy too <clears throat> yeah this reminds me of a Fenty lip balm it's actually a little bit more pigmented than the Fenty gloss bomb okay so we're going to use some setting spray and I'm going to use this this is the makeup fixing mist by uh, Pixie by Petra I drop everything I swear I'm so clumsy Whew. oh I really like this this setting spray and another favorite of mine is the Morphe continuous prep and set mist I love this stuff too but I use a whole bunch of setting sprays I don't just use one setting spray so don't be shy with setting spray okay so this is pretty much it y'all thank you for being here with me I appreciate every single one of you I will be live on YouTube within the next couple of weeks so be on the lookout for that and definitely going to be so nostalgic because I haven't been live on YouTube in so long but I missed it and um, nothing but consistency from here on out because I just I never once have I ever thought of abandoning YouTube it's just that sometimes you do need to take a break and that's okay some there are a lot of creators that need to take a break that won't take a break and continue to be toxic and continue not to be a better person than they were the day before like self-reflection is a good thing y'all working on yourself that's a good thing you need to work on yourself and figure out what it is that you're doing wrong so you can be better and I have always been a really good person and I've always been the type of person that <clears throat> tried to see the good in everyone even if I knew that that was a bad person I've always been that type of person that tried to see the good in everyone except for like PDOs and all that kind of stuff that's completely different in another story but um, now I'm at a place where I am so happy with the way things are going um, as far as social media goes and the people I'm surrounded around and I want to get back to YouTube you know, I miss it and I definitely miss going live videos always, but live streams is definitely something that I didn't know if I was going to do again. And I'm definitely changing my choice with that. And you're allowed to change your decision on things. It's okay. That's a good thing. But work on yourself, work on your discernment, especially if you've constantly found yourself surrounded around toxic people maybe it's something that you yourself need to change to avoid those toxic people because at the end of the day some people can be a magnet for toxic people and you can look at yourself and say if I'm a magnet for toxic people maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong even though these people are toxic and they're horrible fucking people that still means that there may be some things that you need to change to avoid toxic people like that at all costs stop questioning your gut go by it I promise you you will never go wrong and it'll always be revealed to you why you should always listen to your gut
you're always going to see that it's going to be revealed to you in some way shape or form if you're listening and paying attention so i will see y'all in a couple weeks when i go live i hope y'all have an amazing rest of your day i will see y'all in a couple days on the next one and i'm very excited to see you all so be on the lookout for um the video that i schedule i'll try to schedule it a week ahead of time <clears throat> so i'll probably schedule it sometime this week and also make sure you subscribe before you leave if you haven't already if you're new um make sure you like share all that good stuff i'll see y'all soon deuces